All right, Eddie. Uh, a few days ago, I interviewed you and some other guys from the gym about Jack Johnson. He's getting a pardon from Donald Trump. A lot of the guys in here weren't familiar with him, and you know, a lot of our reader, our subscribers were were kind of getting on these these young guys for not knowing their history. You know, the the beginning of, of boxing, especially for for a black fighter. You know, the, I think the second one ever to, to hold the title. Um, what do you think about the fact that some of these young guys aren't too familiar with with the history of the sport? Well, first and foremost, you have to pick up your books. I mean, boxing is what we do, but first and foremost, education is, to, is the key to your success, not boxing. Education comes first and foremost. And it's a shame that they didn't, they didn't know about the first black heavyweight champion of the world. So they got to get their books and dig deep down and go do what you got to do with your books. What about you as a trainer? I see a lot of you, people getting on you guys as trainers saying it's kind of your job too to educate these guys. No, I'm not an educator. I'm an, I'm an educator in one way. The education of pugilistic funk. That's what I do. We show you how to render one unconscious. That's what we do. All right, well you say these guys need to learn about it, but why is that you think a lot of them don't know? They weren't taught. They were not taught. That's the only- well, Who's gonna teach them? It's not your job, you said. Go to the library and pick up a book about Jack Johnson. They'll tell you anything you want to know about him, especially now that he's been pardoned. What do you, yeah, speaking of the pardoning, what do you think about that? A lot of people saying, you know, Trump, very polarizing figure, love him, hate him, whatever, but a lot of people think this was a political move on his part, you know, to, to get, you know, goodwill with the, with the black community. Do you think that was the case? And if not, why would he do this pardon? Well, first and foremost, it was a political move, but it was a move that should have been done should have been made you know this has happened so long ago you know and they jack was railroaded into jail because he was having affairs with white women i mean there's not a law that say you can't have an affair with a white woman you know what i'm saying so well the, the technical thing was that he took her across state lines for immoral purposes well let me tell you something jack didn't twist her arm didn't give it put it in the headlock and drag her across state lines, she went voluntarily. Well, well, speaking of Trump, you said, you know, if it's political or not, the fact is he's a huge boxing fan, always has been. So do you think that plays a large part into why he did this? Well, what happened was Jack was beating up everybody. White, black, everybody. And the, the white man at that time, you know, was a racist regime. You know, they wanted the great white hope to come into play. And Jack was beating up with white hopes, black hopes, no hopes, and no hopes. So Jack was beating up everybody. And so they were trying to find a person that can dethrone Jack. And so they, you know, had to come up with a plan to get the guy, the, 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 the wheat farmer, you know, Big Jess Woolard, who couldn't spell fight, but that's on him. He did what he had to do, you know. So what kind of debt do people like yourself, former world champion and all these up-and-coming young black fighters, what, what kind of debt do they owe to Jack Johnson? Well, it's not a debt that they owe to Jack Johnson because I'm saying now you see a lot of interracial marriages and things like that. So now we don't owe Jack anything. Well, I'm talking about from a boxing standpoint. Well, we just can take uh, some things that Jack showed us during his boxing days, moves here, moves there. But listen... Jack doesn't owe anybody anything. We don't owe Jack anything. Jack just took a stand. He loved white women, and that's it. A long time coming to pardon, though. You happy with that? Well, tell us what you said you had wrote to, uh, uh, well, what, what's been your campaign? You said you wrote to, uh, to Trump, at least, but you wrote to other presidents as well? Yeah, I, I knew Trump. I met Trump in Monte Carlo, you know? Uh, but let me tell you something. I'm, I'm glad, and I wrote on Facebook that I was uh, proud that he, he stepped up. Even if it was for political purposes, he stepped up. That's the main thing. And he corrected a wrong. All right, man. Thanks a lot, Eddie. Do I get paid again? Absolutely. See Jeff. <laughs>